Hi everyone. I hope you're having a much better day than I am. Um, we woke up to our air conditioner leaking water all over the floor. We had a nice big old pool of water. Oh, about 10 feet long and about 5 feet wide. So yeah, fun stuff. Um, I um, wanted to do a project for um, for Evie's um, challenge. Um, sorry, I'm <laughs> having trouble finding the words. <laughs> it's been a rough day and I'm tired. <laughs> Um, I'll put a link to her uh, channel in the in the description box below. Um, she challenged us to use a um, make make a project out of um, supplies from our from our stash that are at least one year old, and so I um, made these cute little pinwheels here. Um, I made a. a one with a red button, a white button, and a blue button for 4th of July. And I tried this little ribbon out here, the flag ribbon. Um, and I just couldn't get it to tie a nice bow and stay where I wanted it. So I just put it on the red one. But um, I've had this, this ribbon for probably 3-4 years. This paper here came from the Summer Dream Stack DCWV. Um, um, <clears throat> and that was from 2010 and I just backed it on um, some red cardstock to make it um, stiffer and I wanted a double-sided paper to make the pinwheels. Um, I learned how to make the pinwheels just this morning from Wendy Cranford's uh, tutorial. I'll link, um, put a link to that tutorial in the description box below as well. So um, yeah, I just made these cute little pinwheels here. Um, super simple to make. These ones are made using a 4x4 four four square of paper and um, all you do is hot glue um, your corners up and a button in the middle and glue a, a dowel on it or a stick of some sort and you've got yourself some cute little pinwheels. So um, that's kind of a rough way of describing how to make them but you get it you can go check out Wendy's tutorial on that <laughs> excuse me um, also um, I wanted to um, tell you a little bit about how I got started on YouTube um, I started on YouTube about two years ago and I only create, uh, well I found to YouTube, I knew about it for years and I never went on it because I always thought it was for teenagers kind of thing. Um, so I just didn't bother and then one day I was bored and I said, you know, I'm going to check out some videos on YouTube and see what's there. And I came across some crafting videos and that was it. I was hooked. <laughs> and uh, so I created a, a, an account. Um, so I could comment and I didn't do videos for the first year and a half. Um, I just watched videos and commented and got to know people a little bit. Um, the big people that inspired me when I first came onto YouTube was um, Chicken Scratch, um, um, oh gosh, what's her name? Dawn. I can't think of the numbers after her name. She's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, real big demonstrator. Um, uh, I think it was mostly Stampin' Up! demonstrators I was watching at the time because I wanted to, to learn how to make cards and stuff. Oh, Star of May, um, Christina Werner. She was huge, huge when she's still huge today and a, a huge inspiration to me um, I, I love her cards she, she's a great designer and um, she was I believe if not the first um, very close to the first person I ever watched on YouTube um, she's the whole reason I started making cards um, because I was that inspired by her cards. 
All right, um, anyway, so I started making videos, I don't know, maybe about six months ago. Um, I believe it was October, November last, this past year, 2011. Um, and it was mainly slideshows. Actually, it was all slideshows in the beginning because my camera wasn't capable of doing videos. Um, and I was super nervous about it, but I got a little more comfortable with it. And then I bought a camera. Um, that would do videos and um, I you know had a lot of friends here help me um, through the process learn you know how to upload in and, and all that good stuff and um, um, I think I made my first video at the end of March beginning of April might have been end of April even this year um, but, you know, I'm addicted to it now, <laughs> as if you guys can't tell. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I got started on YouTube, and, um, you know, YouTube is a, a big part of my life because of being disabled and not able to go out too much and do things. Um, you know, I do a lot of crafting, that's my therapy, and, um... I find a lot of inspiration on YouTube. I've made a lot of good friendships. Um, and that's basically it, you know. I um what can I say, you know? Maybe YouTube's too big of a part of my life. I don't know. But um you know, it is what it is. It's it's what I have as a as a social platform I guess you could say um, you know I can't go out and have fun like everyone else because I'm you know got a lot of ailments health problems and I just can't do it so you know YouTube is where I socialize and meet uh, meet people make friends and share crafts and learn things and try to inspire others and and all that good stuff <laughs> so anyway um i hope you guys like my little pinwheels here and you can make these in different sizes just by changing the size of the square that you're using you know if you want them a little bit smaller you could use like a two by two or a three by three piece of um paper um or if you want them larger go five by five six by six sky's the limit <laughs> try a 12 by 12 that thing would be huge <laughs> all right anyway enough rambling i hope you guys like my little pinwheels i'll link to um turkisa dot eva 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 how do you say your name honey <laughs> i think i need to go to the bar and have a drink <laughs> not can't do that take too many medications <laughs> um anyway um and then I'll also link to Wendy Cranford's uh, tutorial on the pinwheels here. All right, guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.